We'll do a quick out-of-the-box demo of our 2012 Red Bull Creation Challenge entry. First, the iris opens, then a piston extends upwards to accept an empty can. It drops down into the box, the iris closes behind it, and then the barcode is scanned to check to see if it's a Red Bull or not. This one is, so a solenoid kicks it out of the way just in time for a new chilled can to replace it on the platform via the stepper motor me tilt mechanism that you see in front of you. Once in place, the box opens again, and the fresh Red Bull rises through a vapor blast that you'll see in just a minute. Oh my god, it's so realistic. The arm then begins the long trip downwards to be reloaded from the spring-loaded can magazine. We stage a fresh drink near the top each time because people who are being extreme just don't have any time to waste. We're going to cut to a commercial break, and when we come back, it will be almost ready. Big more Red Bull! In epic fashion, it rises back to the staging area, so the next request will be serviced quickly and efficiently. We did final assembly the last night of the two-week contest. Mechanical tolerances were tight, and the task that required our A-games, even though we were all very short on sleep. Both the outside and internals were built by separate sub-teams. Would they go smoothly together during the last two hours of the challenge? Final wiring was completed at 11 p.m. We then set alignments and filmed the demo that you see here. So what happens if you put something that isn't Red Bull into the chamber? Well, it triggers a rejection sequence. Now let's see what happens if you use a real can of Red Bull. It drops smoothly into the box, it's scanned and identified, magic happens, and then a few seconds later, absolute success. Check out EugeneMakerspace.com for more on this over the next few days, and thank you all for watching.